Our next guest is real, another special guest. We have Mr. from the Chicago Step. Does anybody know about that Chicago Step? Let's see about that. Let me yeah. Yeah. Mr. Dickie Dye. How you doing? Did I do it right? Uh, yeah, but let me help you out a little bit. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Deacon Doc, and I host the only national and global staffing show in the world. Just signed to deal with Sony Red, which is why Jack Brower asked me to be here. I was on his brother's show with the person that signed me to ski uh, to uh, Sony last week, so uh, enjoy, enjoy being on your show. And I, I, I let you all know who I am because you don't want to sit back wondering why we qualify to judge. I've been working in the entertainment business 30 years, so I, I've, I've judged and worked with a lot of people, both in newspaper, radio, and television. So that's those are those are my credentials. So I want you want you looking and wondering what qualifies. I'm more than qualified. I'm very happy to be here. Uh, but I want to say for the first act, uh, the trio, uh, the the um, Mike Armstrong trio. I definitely enjoyed those guys. I like their stage presence. I like their enthusiasm. Uh, and I hope to see those guys again. Uh, for the, the second duel, um, yeah, that's better because I'm talking to um, some curtains. The, uh, for, the, for, the, for the second uh, uh, duel, uh, I'd like to say to Emma, Emma, can you raise your hand? Emma? Well, we already know who, who came with Emma. Uh, nonetheless, because uh, 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 this is the time where we kind of critique too, to have kind of thick skin. Uh, I, I, I thought being, I like the song selection, but with Emma, I think you definitely want to work on your range. Make sure you work on your range. You did a, gr a great job, uh, but work on your range. And as a duo, uh, always make sure that you all have something that's in sync. Uh, you know, work on your uh, participation. Uh, yeah, other than that, you, you beautiful people. I, I look forward to seeing you all again. Yes, sir. What you think? Uh, yeah. I, uh, I, let me say this: for the for the rest of as a judge, um, for the rest of the talent that's coming out, I I I'd like to encourage you all to take some few, take a few seconds and really work on, you know, what you're going to do when you come out here, uh, and, and and really help with those mics, get them in order because that 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 plays a big key. Uh, uh, Dre, am I saying that right? Yes, sir. Uh, Pick another song. Try Life Jam. Uh, compliments his. Try Life Jam because uh, it ain't too proud to be. You, you didn't do too well with that. You know what I mean? Try Life Jam must be nice. You have that kind of tonation in your voice. Um, and, and, and Mr. Tony, you picked Ain't Too Proud to Be. Am I right? Yeah. Is, is that something that you picked? No. Oh, you didn't? Yeah. Um, these songs, these songs wasn't picked by us. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. okay. But nonetheless. Um, you, you want to pick a song that compliments your voice if you're going to sing someone else's song. But if you're going to do your own thing, uh, definitely keep it on the level that the, that the audience is, the audience is used to listening to. You know what I mean? Keep it original, but keep it keep it you, but keep it something that they're used to listening to. Because uh, the change and going to something else is a big deal. That's a, that's, that's, that's a big uh, moxie of all to swallow. So uh, I think you have a beautiful voice. I just think that you need to work on a song that compliments it. Uh, same as Tony, but I, you know, thank you. Thank you. Yes, sir. Um, definitely, uh, this, uh, I, I like, I like this song. Um, but as far as, um, the fact that, you know, I see, it seemed like that was more of a Tony song. And even Dre, Dre has the voice to do it, I agree. But, uh, I think less is better, you know. Uh, I, I've learned in my career that uh, the, the less running, uh, clear uh, pronunciation of the words, and the, the, you know, the smoother the voice, the better. And so uh, I agree with my uh, brother Deacon over here that you know, the more that you keep it original, but you put just a little tad of your flavor in there, the better. Uh, so, but for the most part, both of you have talent. And you sound like you have a great voice uh, here and there. And so, just for the main, uh, for the most part, just keep it under wraps.
Yes, look at it downtown. <laughs> I ain't mad at that. Uh, first of all, I want to uh, commend you uh, on uh, attempting to get the crowd involved. I've learned if you get the crowd involved, uh, it's a great thing. Uh, I would like for you to move a lot more, just a little bit more. Um, but it's cool, you know, to each his own. And also, I mean, you had a good voice, you, you stayed on course, and so uh, you did a good job. Don't leave me. Uh, like, I, I'd like to know, where, where are you looking at? Because like, I see your face going in a whole other different direction. We're over here. Right. Let me have a big brim. Uh, yeah, we're over here. Uh, I, uh, I want to say, uh, first of all, great stage presence. I mean, you look the part. Uh, I, I love Conway Tweedy. Since I was a little boy, I mean, you know, big hair, you know. <laughs> so I, I, I love him. Uh, so this song selection, and, and, and I concur with my partner, Mr. Devon. You definitely want to get the crowd more uh, involved. Uh, other than that, man, I, I think you did very well. I, I love the song selection. I, I, I like that. I like Thank it. you very much, sir. Thank you. 
I think you got two fans up here. Three. That, oh, three, I'm sorry. Uh, that was very good, uh, pretty flawless. Um, I just, uh, I mean, I, you know, I really hate to even talk about this, I mean, because that was an awesome performance. I mean, vocally was awesome, but there was just a couple of runs that I just tightened up. So get that diaphragm, but for the most part, I mean, that's all, you know, that's the only thing I gotta say. But it wasn't so bad to where I was like, ooh, everything was still good, but me as a singer, you know, I just already know, but perfecto. Okay, thank you. Mr. what you think? Uh, yes, sir. Um, very sultry voice, I like that. Um, and I would say for those runs, you know, just, just no slunging down your throat. But other than that, I mean, that, that just, just the run is beautiful. I, I like your stage presence. Honestly, I probably shouldn't say this uh, at this stage in the show, but I, I would definitely, uh, you know, because I'm not a singer. Uh, Sony signed to be able to distribute my show globally, so I'm not a singer. But I know that the show is going to feature a lot of cutting edge music. I would love to have you on the show and be a part of that global distribution uh, for Sony Red.
Yeah, we're over here. Uh, very much alive. Just looking for the light. To your right, in the back. Yeah, right there. Yeah. Oh, my God. My other right. My other right. Yeah. Yeah. Deacon Doc, tell us what you saw. Right, I'm telling you, uh, in this day and age, uh, you know, you do have one person living with two people, so that's not going to hurt us. But nevertheless, I, I, I was wondering what was going on. I just had to. I just had his mom what the heck was missing. And he made, I'm telling you, he made my dad. Thank you. I needed that laugh. Um, I definitely like, uh, like, I like the fact that you play the guitar live. I love to hear a lot of music being played. You're definitely a good novelty act. Wherever they ask you to appear, you should do that because you're going places. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, everybody. Anthony Vaughn, what do we have to say? Anthony Vaughn, yeah. Uh, I like that. I like everything about um, what she did. Uh, she has a nice voice, great stage presence, uh, awesome sense of humor, and she knows how to sound like a man and a woman. And she uh, did that perfectly. She had the beard and then on one side and then the long hair on the other, and she really made it happen. And I, I just, it was good. That's all I got to say. Thank you. Thank you so much. You know your stuff. Okay. Well, I think the one happy married couple. Just looking for all like that. We don't have any murder problems. <laughs> Who's on your dishes, hey, baby? Who cooked the line? I'm glad to see you right along with her. Uh, a couple of things. <clears throat> Definitely love your voice. Nice run. But, uh, uh, you know, just, just tweak your highs and your lows on some of your runs. You know, Stephanie Barney Ray. Uh, she, I love her voice. She has a strong voice. You do too. Uh, just make sure you tweak your eyes and your lows and stay on point with them. Uh, I know that the lights didn't move with you, you wanted to get into it, the lights are stationed, so you, you made the best of a, of, a, of, a, of a situation. I'm not going to say a bad situation, it's just what it is. Just what it is. The lights don't move. But uh, i like to see you go places. I, I, I think that you, you're definitely on your way. All right. And I was discombobulated. It was far. Jefferson's too. But, um, I, you know, in the end, when, 
Okay, yeah, I am 
know, Michael, because I was back here trying when you hear what I was saying. <laughs> Thank you. Wow. So tell me, and they always do this, and you guys look a lot smarter than me. 